Hey everybody, this is Matt from Matt's Fantasy Book Reviews, and today I'm going to be going over my September TBR list. I'm excited for this list because I'm actually reading books that are average size this month. Past couple of months I've read some huge books, and it's really brought down the amount of books that I've been able to read. So it's a more manageable sized books, and I'm going to read quite a few of them. So let's just jump right into it. So the first book that I'm going to be finishing this month is going to be Assassin's Fate. Um, this is the last book in the realm of the Elderlings, and I'm very sad that this is ending. I'm actually reading this book right now. I love it so far. I can't imagine it getting anything less than a 5 out of 5. And this is by the one and only Robin Hobb. Uh, I'm reading this book in regular book format, and I'm going to be finishing it on the 5th. Um, this book is 960 pages, so this is definitely the longest book that I'm reading, but I'm reading it at the end of... Uh, I'm already read most of it, so it's not really going to impact my reading too much this month. Um, and like I said, I'm predicting that I will uh, give this one a 5 out of 5. Um, the next book that I'm reading is an audiobook. I'm reading it right now. I am not very far into it, and this is Jade City. Um, this is the first book in the Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee. Um, this is audio. I mean, I'm finishing this on the 9th of the month. Um, I'm really liking this book so far. Uh, you know, I... I'm going to go into a lot more depth into it when I do my review, but it's giving me... I'm, I'm a huge Godfather fan. I've watched those movies more than any other movie ever. They're my all-time favorite movies, and this has such strong Godfather vibes. Some places a little too much. Um, it's feeling like it's borrowing a lot from that, um, but I don't mind it. Um, and I suspect that as I read further on to the series, the differences are going to get grander and grander. Um, this book is 560 pages, so pretty average for me. And I am expecting that I'm going to give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I'm reading is In the Shadow of Lightning. This is the first book in The Glass Immortals by Brian McClellan. I'm reading this in regular book format, and I'm going to be finishing this book up on the 10th. Um, and I don't know what to expect from this book. Um, I'm a pretty, I, I say a pretty big Brian McClellan fan. Um, I really, really enjoyed The Powder Mage, the first trilogy. Not so much the second trilogy. So, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I've, I've not read any in-depth reviews. I've just seen like some scores. And the scores seem lower than I would expect for a new popular book. So, I'm predicting that I'm going to give this book a 3 out of 5. But obviously, I'm hoping for greater. I don't know anything about this book. I very much intentionally keep in the dark on a lot of books that I don't know much about so that I can get them totally fresh without any bias. Um, and just, I love entering a world and discovering it on my own without reading the blurbs or really finding out much about it, if I can avoid it. Um, the next book I'm going to be reading is Orconomics. This is the first book in the Dark Prophet series by Zachary Pike. I'm reading this in book format, and I'll be finishing this up on the 13th. Uh, this is a pretty short book. It's 362 pages, um, and I, I'm i excited about it. Um, I don't know much about it other than I hear it's very funny. Uh, I love a good funny fantasy book. Uh, Terry Pratchett is one of my all-time favorite authors. Um, you know, the, um, t the Tales of Bocelain and Corbel Brooch from Stephen Erickson, which is a very funny short book series, are some of the funniest books I've ever read. So I'm really excited. I don't know anything about what this book's about, but I can't wait to jump into it. And I'm going to go on a limb and, and predict that I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Um, the next one I'm reading is Half a King. This is the first in the Shattered Sea series by Joe Abercrombie, the one and only Joe Abercrombie. I'm reading this in audio format. I'm going to be finishing this up on the 14th. This is rather short. Um, I think it's only 368 um, pages, but the word count's very low. So I suspect I'm going to breeze through this pretty quickly. And I've heard not great things about this book. I don't know what it's about, but I have obviously... Um, the first law is what people think of when they read, when they hear Joe Abercrombie. And when I looked up Joe Abercrombie's, um, uh, all the books that he's written after I finished up the first law, obviously this popped up and, but the, the ratings were low. And so I'm worried about it. Although I love Joe Abercrombie, so I don't know what to expect. And I'm going to predict a three out of five. Uh, the next book is Fracture in the Quinn's Deep. This is the second book in the Jekua series. And I guarantee you, unless you've been watching a lot of my videos, you don't know what this book is. 
Uh, this is written by Travis Riddle. It's a He's not a very big time author. I actually interviewed him on my channel. It's the only interview I've ever done. Had a great time with him. I'm reading this in book format. I'm going to be finishing this up on the 15th. Um, this is a, a Pokemon inspired fantasy, progression fantasy book. Um, I loved the first book. I gave it a four, maybe four and a half out of five. I don't quite remember, but I liked it a lot. Um, I was a big Pokemon fan when I was a kid. I didn't really play many of the games after the first one, although recently I did get a, um, a Switch for my kids, uh, for my kids, and I've been playing it way more than they have. Um, and I did get the, the new Pokemon game, uh, like the 3D one, uh, Arceus, maybe that's what it's called, and I had a great time. And I actually got it after I read this book because it got me thinking like, man, I kind of miss Pokemon. Um, and it's just, a, it's such a fun read. It's a breeze. It's totally lighthearted, no, not like serious, um, and, and just a really fun time. Um, and I'm predicting that I'm going to give this one another four out of five. Um, so for the next book, this is my mystery book. Um, I went out and asked my favorite um, fantasy YouTuber, Patrick Leo, if he would pick a book for me to read this month. And he graciously recorded a quick video to release what book that's going to be, and I'm going to show that right now. Hi Matt, Patrick here. So for those of you who don't know me, I've been reviewing fantasy books, fantasy and sci-fi books, but mostly fantasy for almost six years now on Goodreads and also on my blog. But I own my YouTube channel. Uh, it is not so recent now, I guess, because it's almost two years since I own my YouTube channel where I talk about fantasy books and sci-fi books as well. But for today, uh, Matt has invited me to choose one book from his TBR pile uh, to read this month, and I choose Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Imes. This is the first book in the band trilogy, and I consider this as one of the best fantasy debut of all time. I read this one in 2017, and I think this book has everything that I love about epic fantasy. It, it may not be the most intense and epic book out there, but it has all the emotions and characterizations, and also the entertaining factor that I love to read in epic fantasy. It has humor, it is quite epic in scope, and also it is very emotional at times. Just the first 30 pages, if I remember correctly, has already almost made me cry. Yes, just the first 30 pages of Kings of the Wild almost made me cry because I think the characterizations and the prose are nailed really well. Just read this one. I think it is incredible, and I think many, many fantasy readers like you will love Kings of the Wild. Thank you so much, Patrick. I am really looking forward to reading Kings of the Wild. I've had this book on my TBR for a long time, and it has always caught my attention. Um, something about it, it just, everyone I hear has that same feeling about it, that it's super fun. I hear that it's got these like, kind of like, like a heavy metal type of book. And that just sounds awesome to me. I can't wait to read it. Um, I, I've read a, I've read a couple little small things about it. Um, like an older group of guys getting back together to do one last mission. Don't know anything more than that, but I can't wait to read it. I'm going to say this is going to be a 5 out of 5 book. Thank you so much for recommending this, and I can't wait to read it. Uh, the next book is going to be The Locked Tomb. This is the first in the... Uh, wait, no. Other way around. I'm reading Getting in the Ninth. This is part of the Locked Tomb series by Tamison Mirror. I'm going to be reading audiobook on this. going to be finishing this up on the 20th. Um, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know anything about this book. Um, the cover looks kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, I, I want to say, like, the one thing I heard about it was it was, like, lesbian necromancers or something like that. Uh, but I also heard there's, like, some really epic moments in it. And I'm just, I'm, I've heard so many people say good things about it. Uh, that I'm just diving right in. And apparently this is the month where I'm reading a lot of first books and series. So I don't know what that's all about, but I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully these all stick. Um, and I'm going to say four out of five on that one. So the next book I'm reading is going to be Making Money, um, part of Discworld by Sir Terry Pratchett. I'm reading this in book format. Going to finish it up on the 23rd. Um, this is 400 pages, so not very big. I kind of breeze through the Terry Pratchett books. And I'm getting close to the end of my Discworld journey. I've been going through in chronological order every single Discworld book. And I'm getting close to the end. I'm sad about it because I've really enjoyed my experience. Um, I don't really know who the what plot arc this is. 
Um, but all Discworld books are about the same for me. I give them, I give most of them like four out of fives. I'm predicting that the same will be on this one, and I can't wait to have a good time. Um, getting towards the end here. So the next book I'm reading is the second book in Mother of Learning. This is Arc Two by Domagoy Kuramic. I think that's right. Kuramich. I think I got that one right. Uh, I'm reading this in book format. Going to finish this one towards the end of the month on the 29th. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I loved the first Mother of Learning book. If you've never read these books, pick them up. It's a fun time loop story with some awesome twists to it. It's got that progression fantasy thing that I found out that I love. I'm addicted to reading progression fantasies. And this has so many different things that I love about it. Um, I gave the first one a four out of five, which is a very good score for me. And I'm predicting that I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Um, so the last book I'm reading in the month assuming that I enjoy the first of the Greenbone saga, which I am already, I'm going to be reading Jade War, the second one in that series by Fonda Lee. Doing audio again, going to finish, finish this one up on the 29th. And yeah, I have high, high hopes about this series and hopefully it continues on. So the average page length of all these books is going to be 522 pages. My predicted average score is 4.27. If that's the average score that I end up giving, that's a great month because my normal score is about a four. Um, my lifetime average on words is 165,000 per book. And this is uh, 156. So it's a little bit less than uh, average. Uh, lifetime average... Um, on page count is 504, and these are 522, so a little higher on that. And then, yeah, like I said, my, my average score is about a 4. I think it's 3.97. So hopefully I have a great month. Can't wait to write, do all these reviews and talk to you about them when they come out. So thanks so much for watching, and happy reading to you.